Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. Hello, this is Chuck. We are playing Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. This, I believe, is the ninth game in the adventure game, Nancy Drew adventure game series by Her Interactive. Um, this is one I've not played before. Obviously, it's as you can tell, it's a lot older. And um, yeah, this is like the second last Nancy Drew game that I've got. This one was actually gifted to me by, unfortunately, I cannot remember who right now, but I know. Hopefully, it's popped up on the screen. Who has gifted this to me? Because at the moment, the name has completely left my mind. So, we're gonna go with Senior Detective. Dear Ned, and... here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Bess arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. Oh, okay. It just got cut out. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Uh... Do you have any idea who did this? No. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Right, we're Need on any vacation. Help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Oh, okay. All right, here's our stuff. You got anything in this bag that we can... Mine temples use as... What's this? Cocoa pottery... Oh, Chaco pottery reconstructed. Okay. Man. <laughs> it's always uh, interesting to see, depending which game you play, how interfaces have may or may not have changed. What's this? Wonder what's in here. Just sneak around, Nancy. <laughs> we we haven't we haven't even got investigating yet and we're already snooping around. Okay, come on. I like how just this island you have the words big bold words Deception. I don't know what that there. Screeb? I can't quite. Er, Screeb? I. Uh, oh. Assuming, okay, that's a way to go up. What else can I look at here right now? Oh, a laptop. Katie Firestone. Town meeting to discuss Orca. Representatives of National Marine Fisher Fisheries Service are going to give their ruling. Now's your chance to express your opinion on this important issue. Be heard, be there. Uh, any... Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. 
Okay, so this is your laptop. I thought we were going into someone else's thing and the Grand Buster. Uh-oh. Your father's day off. Dear Nancy, thought you'd be interested to know that your father believed it, it, believe it or not, is taking a day off. He was supposed to be in court all week, but early this morning a water main broke and flooded the basement of the courthouse. They turned off all the electricity as a safety precaution and sent everybody home. So without any appointments or trials to prepare for, he has nothing to do. Too bad you're not here. He could take you to the zoo or something. Just so he stays out of my hair. Love, Hannah. Okay, and that's it. Uh, Best and George said to be sure to call them on my cell phone when I got here. Whoever tore up Katie's engine may have done something else to her boat. I should look around and make sure nothing else has been sabotaged. Okay. Deception Island Portal. Welcome to Deception Island Internet Portal, your one-stop web resource guide to Deception Island Snake Horse Harbor and the San Juan Islands. Overcast with patchy fog. Whale World. Don't leave Snake Horse Harbor, Ar Harbor without going on the Whale World Whale Watch. Okay, wow, that is a... Mm. Our two-hour tours leave at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and 4 p.m., seven days a week. Or call and arrange for a private excursion on one of our safe, comfortable, state-of-the-art tour boats. We're flexible, and we're the best. Okay, wow. Of course, you're business, so you will be trying to dole that out. Be sure to come early for your tour so you can enjoy the Whale World Center for the appreciation and observation of marine life. This fun and fact-filled exhibit is free and open to the public. Don't just watch your whale experience it. Burglaries, burglaries plague Snake Horse Harbor. A blur burglary occurred at the Blue Dew Outfitter shop sometime yesterday. The second burglary to be reported in Snake Horse Harbor Snake Horse Harbor in the past week. The Sheriff's Department is unable to say exactly when the burglary occurred. The only reason they called us was because one of their employees noticed that a lot of stuff that was in the storage room in the morning was gone when they were getting ready to close. There were no broken windows, no jimmy locks, no splintered doors, nothing to indicate the place had been broken into. A similar burglary occurred earlier this week at Harbor Hardware. Like Blue Dew Outfitters, Har Harbor Hardware is located on Schooner Street. Orchestra's up trouble. Okay, here's what this orca thing is about. The National Marine Fishery Service ruled last night that any unauthorized boat that comes within 300 feet of the lone orca that has taken up residence in Snake Horse Har Arbor, Harbor will be fined $1,000. People in the fishing industry who were at the town meeting when the announcement was made were outraged. They claimed that the orca often approaches boats on its own and that the only way to avoid accidental encounters is to make a costly detour around the island. Okay. So, it's not afraid of humans. Just wondering where it came from questioning where it came from. The fisheries service said the ruling will remain in effect until the orca's physical condition has been thoroughly assessed. If the whale is healthy and if the pod to which it belongs to can be identified, the service will attempt to rejoin it with its pod. If the whale is not healthy, it will be transported to a research facility. There are no easy solutions in cases like this, said a fisheries service spokesperson. No matter what we do, no one is ever happy. So far, efforts to identify the orca and its pod have failed. Holt Skoto runs for Harbor Master. Holt Skoto has formally announced his candidacy for the office of Harbor Master. He will oppose incumbent Nelson Metusiak in this fall's election. Skoto has been a fisherman for 38 years and runs three fishing boats out of Snake Horse Harbor. This is his first bid for public office. He says that the controversy surrounding the orphaned killer whale that showed up recently in the arbor, harbor spurred him into action. 
People's tired of politicians trying to save everything that's covered in fur, feathers, and blubber, said Skodo. Saving jobs, that's what they should be doing. I realize being harbor masters, not like being senator or anything, but you've got to start somewhere. Skodo is in the process of organizing his campaign staff and plans to announce the name of his chairperson early next week. Okay. So that was all the news stories. The Sea Caves, Community Lighthouse, Scra Scarab? Sc Scrap Island? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Okay, so since she said to call Bess and George, oh, we got the Hardy Boys. Busy signal. Okay. I'm gonna assume. Oh, no, George. We just got best. Despite the fact, despite the fact that George is the one that set us up on this. Uh... Benjamin Hawkins cleaning supplies. Coffee day break. Nancy Drew. Okay, so so this is today, the seventeenth. Of a certain month. Okay. So we're supposed to be searching around just in case some other. Know thyself. Okay, if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Okay, I have no reason to use your microscope. Hmm. Yes, very interesting. It is a blank. Easy access slide samples, portable, durable, waterproof, card 572. Wow. Okay. Uh, onion skin. Too cool. Hair. Too cool. Hair, I don't know, I haven't seen hair look like that before, but... Awesome! Raw meat. Feathers. And butterfly wings. Okay. Assuming that's for that. Hmm. Yeah, that'll just... Okay. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Okay. This is the drawer? Okay, what's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? Oh my god. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, this is one big... Okay, right now I just kind of want to see how the spaces fill out. See, this is the same size. This is not the same size. This is taller than the others. Okay. Well, I want this one at least on the end here. Okay. Kinda, these kind of look like cigars to me. <laughs> this then.
Okay, just wanted to see if that could fit or not. This could fit here. Okay, that fit. See, that can go there. I imagine this can go here. No? I think that can fit. <laughs> Whether or not that should go there, that's a... Is there anything thinner than that? No. Oh wait, this is thin enough. Like so. I mean, right now I'm trying to... Uh, it's not a good system where I'm trying to put all the ones that are... are Going, I guess, diagonal, diagonal, standing upright on top, which that might not be what I need to do. I said, I don't like the fact that there's a space here. Okay, so these are both the same height, basically. That one's not going to fit. Hmm. So this one fits with this one here. There's a bit of give there. So this one's almost basically a perfect snuggly match. Um... Okay, there we go. That's something. Can these books rotate? No, they can't. Okay. So that solves one thing. These books cannot rotate. Okay, I think this might be it. This one up here. It can fit. Don't tell me it can't fit. Okay. Oh, it's this one that's getting in the way.
I'm so close. My worry is that this doesn't really snap in place, so I don't know if I'm just not giving myself enough room. Okay, I mean, that was clearly out of bounds, but... There we go. See? Thought so. Okay. Can we have a look at the... Hmm? Arboreal morphology. Okay. Complex morphological issues, microscopic tracheid analysis, microtome surfacing? Scientists and researchers versant in fundamental botanical conventions who are interested in understanding more complex morphological issues of higher order, vascular perennial vegetation, will find this book to be an indispensable reference. A variety of topics will be covered, such as metabolic functionality of par <laughs> parenchyma cells, extractive inductants, microscopic tra tracheid analysis, including uh dentate ray and narrow ray forms as well as epithelial growth patterns advanced techniques in microtome surfacing and micro macro photograph macro photography will also be addressed about the author dr Pridov okay can't say that name the last name is the assistant director of the national wood laboratory located in Krivitz. Wisconsin, she holds a doctorate in Bonnie from the University of Wisconsin Stout and has worked as a consultant for a variety of organizations, including the Timber and Wood Association of Greater Manhasset and the Federation of Lumberjacks. She is host of Wisconsin's favorite radio program, What Wood Am I?, and offers free consultations on wood identification. And then we have a phone number, so obviously. Okay, so if we find a piece of debris or wood that needs to be identified, this is our this is our go-to. Okay, so that's that's it. <laughs> For whatever reason, this may be. Okay. I'm kind of curious though, Nancy. How do you know whether or not baking soda? Oh, no, 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 what? Okay, no, 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 no. What am I doing? None of that now. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. But why would I make a sandwich? Why it won't am I be make... much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Okay, why am I making a sandwich? I don't know why I'm putting... What else is here? What's this? Uh, no. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is always good. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, wait. Lettuce. Do you put mayonnaise and mustard? Whatever, we're putting the mustard. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know if I can die. Ha 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 ha. Don't think so. Do you want to keep, eat, throw away? Oh, suddenly I don't feel so good. You gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and ugh, it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry guys, gotta go. 
Okay, I gave myself food poisoning. <laughs> Okay, I didn't want the sandwich either way. I wasn't there to make myself a sandwich. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. What do you mean? This orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. Okay. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. And what do you say? I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. Uh, excuse me, did you not, didn't you just say that you didn't want to bother us? We're on vacation and now you, <laughs> lady. See you in a bit. <laughs> Enjoy. Watch your step. With what? This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Stop meddling or else. Uh-oh. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. I better tell Katie her GPS is broken. Okay. So that's the other thing that we need to find. What's up? I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Okay. So, should I redeem myself and try and make a sandwich again? <laughs> it's just for the hell of it. I don't know if we need to ever make a sandwich later. What's in here? Peanut butter? Sure, peanut butter sandwich. Do we have jelly here? Okay, that's ice cream. I think that's it. Wait. Ah, here we go. Huh? Have I ever eaten a peanut butter jelly sandwich? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, well... Firestone whale watching. Anything else I can... Look at? Oh, the kayaking. Okay. Oh. Um, excuse me. There's a piece of paper inside. Maybe it's a message. Okay, I was actually trying to click on the... That's odd. Rosebud. Okay. I was wondering what this red... Okay, so... Well, we can't kayak because we don't have a GPS either way. Hot Kettle Cafe, I believe is what she said. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bike crash lands cycler sleuth in hospital. Teenager neglects to wear helmet. Okay. 
<laughs> Game. I wasn't aware this was a thing. Do I have my helmet on? I'm gonna assume so, because you're not you're giving me a nice pretty you're giving me an image of a nice boat. <laughs> That's exactly what I need Looks to like see. Like somebody's running for harbor master. Oh my god. And it's like every single time we're gonna have to pick up this 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 helmet. So <laughs> Safety first, kids! Okay, I can't look around yet. Here we go. I'm gonna assume that guy is Scott. So let's see if there's anything else I can look at. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? <laughs> Let's not be sarcastic. That depends on what you mean. Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? Is that what you think Katie is? Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor, precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor. Home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. This... You, <laughs> you can't just say that and say, But welcome! Oh, the place you're saying someone vandalized it. But welcome! <laughs> Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Wait, where does this game take place? <laughs> this is... Okay, so if it's Vancouver Island, then this is near me. Now, this makes me think of like the Ogopogo, which is, I believe, in Okanagan. Uh, is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy would be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. But he'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then in an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. <laughs> that was the cheap way. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. Okay. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. Okay. Not a not a bad not a bad idea, really. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. Okay. 
Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for harbor master? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense. Instead of doing what's politically correct all the time, Harbor Master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Okay. This is a reserved for SHH Club annual party. <laughs> so, I know we can go further. Ooh, books, you say? A book on sea monsters. Very cool. Alright, so uh, the original video got corrupted at this point, but luckily it seems, for the most part, I'm just reading something and I feel a little puzzle, which obviously I don't have any of the items here, because I'm just heading straight to this. So I'm just going to read this, and then hopefully whatever I missed wasn't too much. So I believe I was just filling out some sort of a uh, survey thing. <laughs> Either way. No sooner did humans take to the lakes and coastal waters of North America in boats than they began to tell of frightening encounters with strange water dwelling creature creatures. Native Americans sometimes left visual records of what they saw in the form of petroglyphs. European settlers would hear their tales and disregard them as legends and superstitions. But it wasn't long before they too began to see things that were so fantastic in size and appearance that there was only one term for them, sea monsters. North America is not only surrounded by water, but it contains tens of thousands of lakes. People have been seeing monsters in some of its larger lakes for hundreds of years. Among the most notable lakes, mon lake monsters are Champ, the creatures said to inhabit Lake Ch Champlain, the 110 mile long lake which borders New York and Vermont. Bessie is said to frequent the western waters of Lake Erie, one of the Great Lakes, while Ogopogo allegedly cruises Okanagan Lake, a body of water about 80 miles long in southern British Columbia. Residents of the Pacific Northwest who live near or spend time in the water occasionally report seeing Gaddy, short for Gabrorosaurus. This monster prefers the sea and has been spotted at various times along the coasts of Oregon and Washington and around Vancouver Island and the Queen Charlotte Islands off the coast of British Columbia. Could they be the same creature? What's immediately striking about the description of this fearsome foursome is how similar they are. All are described as having long necks and heads that resemble that of a horse or camel. They are said to be snake-like, which bod with bodies one to two feet in diameter and anywhere from 12 to 80 feet long, sometimes moving through the water in straight, log-like fashion, at other times moving as a series of undulating humps. They are dark-colored, usually green, brown, or black, or brown or black. Some witnesses report seeing flippers and tails that are fluked and horizontal as opposed to vertical like most fish. Though they are occasionally blamed for boating and swimming mishaps, these creatures have been seen carting fish, seals, seals, and ska birds, but never people. So what are they really? Some cryptozoologists, people who study animals whose existence has been described in anecdotes and folklore, but never scientifically verified, theorize that Candy, Champ, Bessie, and Ogopogo are throwbacks to prehistoric times and are a type of plesiosaurus pl that lives and breeds in underwater crevices and caves. Others say they are more likely to be descendants of Bessilosaurus a serpent-like primitive whale that was 45 to 70 feet long. Debunkers say that what witnesses claim to have seen were nothing more than strange wave formations or bobbing logs or sturgeon, truly monstrous looking fish that spent their lives in both fresh and salt water and can grow to be more than 20 feet long. Wanted, dead or alive. None of these sea monsters has ever been captured, let alone photographed or videotaped to the satisfaction of skeptics. Occasionally, however, 
Carcasses that fit their description wash up ashore or are invertedly hauled up in fishing nets. But more often than not, after tissue analysis are performed, these dead creatures turn out to be basking sharks. Why are the carcasses of basking sharks so often confused with those of sea serpents? When alive, a basking shark is huge, over 30 feet long. When it dies and decomposes, the massive gill structure with which it feeds drops away, leaving nothing but the small upper portion of its head and its long backbone. Its dorsal fin and the lower tail fluke also slaw off, and its pelvic fins become distorted as they decay so that it soon looks like the remains of a long snake-like creature with flippers. Someday someone will prove or disprove once and for all the existence of sea monsters in North America. With a lot of curiosity, dedication, and luck, that someone could even be you. Okay. So, um, yeah, after that, from what I can hear, I, I fill out some sort of, I want to say a crossword puzzle, but some, I, I don't remember what it was, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm assuming I was filling out some sort of anagram, maybe? I don't know. Either way, that's it for this set. Uh, every other thing is technically already uploaded to the channel, so I just need to input this into the slot of the corrupted file. Either way, thank you for liking if you liked, thank you for commenting if you commented, thank you for subscribing if you subscribed, thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys, see ya!